Yeah, you hear a lot of women especially say, oh, I don't want to work out with weights because I don't want my arms mm-hmm. to get bigger. And it's like, well, you have to be very intentional in order to have that level of, of, of transformation. What are some of the things that you experienced or that you implemented in those days, in your earliest 20s, where you started to see those results with diet-wise, as well as mm. just you know some very basic things in case someone's listening to this and they also want to um, to get on top of their their physical health and 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 just get into better shape. Like, what are some of the what are some of the things that 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 people should pay attention to? Uh, definitely eating more protein and. Um, trying to pay attention to getting more vegetables. Green vegetables are great. Um, you know, I, I learned the theory of crowding out because at first crowding out means to try to load your plate with more healthy food than unhealthy food and more, um, you know, leafy greens and more meat and things like that, like lean protein than the unhealthy stuff. And especially in the beginning, I think one of the things that I had to look at was how is this food making me feel? Because food was joy. This was really, really hard for me because my whole life, food was so equated with joy that I felt like when I started trying to eat really healthy, I felt like I had nothing to look forward to. And so it kind of started, a. Um, I, this was a long process of learning how to not binge eat because I lived in, you know, upper Michigan and then Wisconsin and then Minnesota and at the time. and it's a culture of food. It is a culture of food. If you make friends, you are going out to eat. You're probably drinking a lot. If you're having fun on the weekends, you're probably having a lot of cocktails. You're going to games. You're eating a lot of what I call beige food, a lot of carbs. And this is like pretty much the enemy of trying to lose weight or be fit or feel good. And so, you know, working to start with small things, like it's very hard to go from zero to eating really, really good and getting those results that you want because so much of our emotions are tied with food. So I think having the grace in the beginning to say, okay, I'm going to actually just start small, like three days out of the week on, let's just say Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I am going to try to only have salads at night. Like I'm going to have a salad with a really big piece of of protein, whatever that looks like. And I'm going to start there to see if I can try to make this a habit and know that I can still kind of eat what I want on these particular days. So I think we always try to rush for a result in the beginning, where ultimately what we want to do is know that the result will come if you focus on changing a habit and making that habit last. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.